What's good YouTube, JD here, back with yet another review for you guys. Very, very excited to do this review. Nike has finally started retroing Dunk Highs. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Nike Dunk High Spartan Green. What up fam, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down this sneaker. I will be comparing it to previous versions of Nike Dunk Highs, especially comparing the leather quality, also the shape of the shoe. We'll get into how to style these sneakers. I love these because these really match my personal style. Of course, we'll get into resale predictions. And as always, I will be giving you guys that on feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. So unfortunately, I got this pair a little late. I took an L on all the raffles. And honestly, I wanted to just pass on them because I have a very similar pair in my collection. I own this pair. This is the Villanova Dunk Highs and you can see it's very, very similar. So I didn't personally feel like I needed this. But then I thought to myself, you know what? This channel is about you guys. It's not so much about my personal collection. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you know how much I love the Dunk Highs. I have been collecting some of my favorite colorways now for over the last couple of years. And I felt like I would be doing a disservice to you guys if I didn't compare this new pair with some of the previous pairs. So I went ahead and paid resale to cop these. I didn't pay too much. However, since I copped them, the prices have come down even more. We'll get into that a little bit later. I also bought these because you know what, even if I don't decide to wear them, I do think they are a good investment. And speaking of that, I know this sounds like I'm hating a little bit, but I don't think of this as hate. This is me just kind of looking out for you guys. There are a lot of channels out there on YouTube with people doing how to cop videos for every single sneaker and also buy or sell, hold or sell videos for almost every single sneaker. And the thing about these channels is that First of all, they don't even cop the shoes, even though they make how to cop videos. And second of all, they'll make videos saying, hey, you should hold this, this is gonna go up long term, yet they don't even own the sneakers themselves. And that I just don't understand. I mean, if you're so sure that a sneaker is gonna go up in price over the next six months, why don't you own them? You gotta put your money where your mouth is, that's just my opinion, and just something you guys should watch out for when you're looking at these videos. I'm not hating though, I'm just looking out for my fam. Also, before I start the video, I wanna give a quick shout out to the homie Mark from Do More Clothing. He sent me over this really dope hoodie. The lettering here is done in 3M. Very nice oversized fit on this hoodie. I will leave a link to his clothing brand down in the description. So let's get into these, the Nike Dunk High Spartan Greens. This is not the first time we've seen a green colorway on a Nike Dunk High. There have been a lot of similar ones in the past. We've seen the Gorge Green pair, I believe that was from 2012. Also the Celtic Green had a similar colorway. And Nike definitely killed it with the timing of this release. This is just a perfect, absolutely perfect fall colorway. This particular shade of green, it's honestly a very, very, very dark green. Even while I was filming the B-roll for this sneaker, uh, it's kind of hard to tell that these shoes even are green. They almost look black if you look at it from certain angles. But the green on this was inspired by the Michigan State Spartans. The Spartans are the team that plays for the University of Michigan. This is like Michigan month. We also have the Michigan Dunk Highs that dropped the following week. And I did manage to cop those as well. That review will be dropping next week. Shout out to my homie Ron for helping me hook that up. And out of those two pairs, I knew that I wanted that Michigan pair for personal. This one, although I absolutely love this colorway and I think the shoe looks super hard. Like I said, I already had a similar colorway so I wasn't like too hyped to get this pair. I have been collecting Dunk Highs for a few years now. I will show you guys some of the pairs in my collection. I own the Canary Yellows, the St. John uh, Red Pair, the Mineral Blues, which kind of looks like a Jordan 1 Turbo Green. I also have the Villanova Pairs, and now I've added the Spartan Greens. I was very interested to compare the quality on these compared to the 2016 Villanova Pairs. And just from first impression, I can tell that the leather on this one is definitely not as good as the Villanova Pair. As you can see here, there's a lot more tumble. It's a very nice leather on that Villanova Pair. And this leather honestly it does feel quite good but it almost I don't know it kind of gives me like a plasticky type of feel it's pretty good leather it's just nowhere near as good as older pairs but that's honestly an unfair comparison because I can't think of any new Nike or Jordan sneakers that are anywhere close to as good as the quality used to be so I guess Comparing this to other 2020 sneakers, this is pretty decent leather quality. Comparing it to older Dunks, this is definitely not as good. I noticed a couple of other differences as well, although they are very minor. 
The first is with the swoosh. You can kind of tell that on the Villanova pair, the swoosh is a little bit thinner. It's also not exactly in the center of the mid panel. It's kind of almost on the left side a little bit. Whereas on this pair, the swoosh is a bit thicker and it's also bang in the middle of the mid panel. And one other thing I noticed is the height of the sneaker. The older pairs, the 2016 pairs, uh, both my Villanova as well as my St. John pair, both of them are slightly higher, slightly taller than the Spartan greens. The sneakers come standard with, of course, these green laces, and you also get a pair of white laces to go along with it. This is just my personal rule, but uh, with dunk highs, I always like to wear the laces that contrast with the tongue. However, with dunk lows, I like to wear the white laces. I think they look good when they're matching the tongue. It's just a matter of personal preference, really. For people who are brand new to this silhouette, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have never owned a pair of dunk highs before, you might be thinking that these do look very similar to a Jordan 1. And that is because, yeah, these shoes were actually inspired by Jordan 1s. They came out in the year 1985. And I think that they are a great alternative. For styling these, check out my Instagram. I will leave my handle right here. It is at JDKick6. You can see that I've been wearing these for a couple years now. I love how dunk highs look with kind of baggier pants. The type of pants I like to wear are Dickies, Carhartts, Levi's 501s I think look absolutely great with these as well. With this particular colorway, the pants I chose to wear were a brown pair of Carhartts that I own and that's what I will be using in the on feed of these. For sizing on dunk highs, they fit me just like dunk lows. So for me, that is true to size. Also, whatever your Jordan 1 size is, it will fit the same in dunk highs. Let's talk about resale. Before we do that, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that red button there if you haven't already done so. Tons of content on the way. You know I keep it consistent on this channel at least three videos a week. And I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. So for resale, I did mention that I copped this because I felt like it would be a good investment anyways if I don't decide to wear these. The prices are honestly not too hot right now when you compare it to some of the dunk lows that have dropped this year. We're currently looking at the 230 to 250 range for most sizes, which is still, I guess, pretty decent profit considering the retail price was only $120 on these. I do think though that these are a good hold because the hype on dunk highs have not really started at all. They're just starting right now. As soon as we see some celebrities wearing these, some influencers, you know the prices are going to start going up. Also because the prices on the dunk lows are just so high for most of the colorways, these dunk highs are a pretty good alternative. And also like I said, these are a very good alternative to Jordan 1's. If this particular colorway dropped in a Jordan 1, it would have a very high resale. It's just a very clean colorway. And because most Jordan 1s, the resale prices are just kind of out of range for most people, I do think that these are kind of underpriced right now and I see them going up. These sneakers also were pretty limited. If you missed out on this release, I do think now is a pretty good time to buy. The prices have come down significantly from release date. I will leave an affiliate stock X link down in the description for you to cop. Final thoughts, cop or drop. For me, leather quality pretty decent compared to most other sneakers in 2020. I love this colorway, I love the dunk highs. For me, definitely a cop. Let me know down in the description, what do you guys think about dunk highs versus dunk lows? The last time I put this poll out on Instagram, the majority of you guys chose dunk lows, but let me know right now, are you starting to warm up a little bit to the dunk highs? Let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys so much for messing with the channel, the on-feed portion of the video coming up right now. Until next time, guys, peace.